I'm Jane and I am nine years old. And my question is, how does your brain get your heart to, to constantly beat? My name is Lee Eckhart. I'm a cardiologist that specializes in heart rhythm disorders. The lab around me here um, is uh, dedicated the group of uh, five different investigators who all study various forms of heart rhythm disorders. Um, we're called the Cellular Molecular Arrhythmia Research Program. So uh, the question of how does your brain get the heart to constantly beat is an excellent question. Um, interestingly, um, in a course of a day, your heart might well, will beat um, somewhere around 100,000 times and over a calendar year might beat up to 35 million times. Over a course of a lifetime, then your brain and your heart have to work together to engineer three billion heartbeats. The brain gets to take a little break here because the heart actually will beat all by itself. There's something in the heart called automaticity, meaning that the heart, even if it's disconnected from the brain, will continue to beat at a set rate. It's called the intrinsic heart rate. And for different people, that intrinsic heart rate can be slightly different, but usually sits somewhere around 90 to 110 beats per minute. If you have a heart transplant, and the heart is then um, transplanted into another human, it's not connected to the brain, but that heart continues to beat at a set intrinsic rate. In addition to the intrinsic heartbeat that the that heart has all by itself, the uh, autonomic nervous system um, is a separate part of the brain and the brain function that can either speed up or slow down your heart. With that regulation, the heart rate then has a great deal of variability all throughout the day depending on what you might what your body needs.